Tonight, part two of our investigation into housing in Hampton Roads. We found several LLCs responsible for selling hundreds of homes, but some of the buyers may never end up actually owning the home. Our investigation raises questions about the propriety of these sales. Here's Dan Kennedy. On 29th Street in Newport News, it's hard to miss the neighborhood eyesore. Broken windows, melted siding, a charred porch, and now a bright green sign deeming the house unsafe. I'm tired of looking at it. You know, I'm tired of looking at it. It should be something better. Neighbors have spent more than a year staring down this home nearly destroyed by fire last February. There is major fire damage to this house but nothing I've not sold before. The major fire damage didn't stop Virginia Beach based LLC 72019 from buying the home and using social media to try and flip it. I've sold houses 10 times this bad before, so. Our investigation found the people linked to the 72019 LLC have spent the last few years using social media to advertise and sell hundreds of homes in Hampton Roads. The buyers sign an agreement for deed, but we found the fine print raises red flags. This line in the contract states buyers must maintain the current condition or better, adding sellers may inspect the home and take back immediate possession if it fails to meet their standards. Yet another document we obtained states the seller has done no inspections and has no knowledge of the condition of the house. These are, are almost always no predatory. Property law attorney Eric Dunn says sales like this often prey on low income cash buyers who may be desperate to get a roof over their heads. It sort of furthers this this idea that you're the homeowner, you're buying this property, you're going to own it. When, when you look through the you know totality of, of the transaction, you know, there's the seller is not letting this property go. One buyer, too afraid to talk on camera, tells me they've been threatened with eviction after missing monthly payments during the pandemic. They say they've poured thousands of dollars into their home and now they're afraid they could lose it all. And their story may not be unique. The market is hot right now, so get this one while it lasts. The YouTube page advertising these homes has posted more than 400 videos since 2018. But even after these homes sell, the deed in many cases remains in the seller's name, not the buyer's. We counted more than a dozen sold homes in Newport News, Norfolk, and Suffolk, where the deed still lists 72019 as the title holder, including the fire-damaged home on 29th Street. And I know people in this neighborhood are tired of seeing this burnt house sitting up here without nothing done to it. <laughs> Nothing doing to it at, at all. Newport News Code's compliance found that home in such disrepair that they plan to have it demolished. A supposed buyer emailed the city writing, I recently purchased the fire damaged house, but the inspector responded that actually the title still belongs to the seller, the 72019 LLC, adding the demolition process will proceed. We are owner financing this house. That means no credit checks, no background checks, simply a small down payment and you are in. We reached out to the man posting these YouTube videos, but we never got a response to our direct questions. In June, he'll have to answer to a judge. Code's compliance cited the YouTube seller and the 72019 LLC to court for failing to maintain one of those homes. Dan Kennedy, 13 News Now. And attorneys we spoke with urge anyone tempted by a contract for a home similar to this, seek the advice of an attorney first. Our investigation isn't over. We'll let you know what more we find.